Mario's gonna eat Toad. He, you're right, he does eat the mushrooms. We're assuming he eats the mushrooms. I mean, he could just be sticking them, like, in his butt or something. Still doesn't bode well for, uh, Mr. Toad. Well, we learned a bit. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder why, like... <laughs> we need a Mario expert in here to, like, confirm versions and stuff. Differences. I mean, at the very least, rescuing Toad should always give you a power-up because you touch him, right? Touching a mushroom makes you big. <laughs> Mario's got a thing for Toad. We all think he's in it to save the princess. In reality, he's in it to save the seven Toads. He's disappointed when he gets to the end and finds out it's a, a human woman. There's <laughs> even more toads and all stars. See? That's why he goes back. He's like, yo, Bowser captured seven more toads? I'm in. You think she's not human? She's also fungus. That's a good question. Well, what about the kings? Well, I guess Mario 3 is a play. But still, the people in the play are humans, playing the kings. Is she a human, or is she a toad? She doesn't have the weird toad head, you know? Like, Toadette has a weird mushroom head. But Princess Peach has just regular human head with human hair. But why would she be a human? I feel like I need answers to this. I got nothing. Okay, there's a weird bonk. Glad I was able to, to save it. Threw me off my game. My mojo was just all wrong. Oh, fuck. Hey, wow, that's there. <laughs> I don't think ever in my entire life that I know that was there. <laughs> Thank you, Mario. But our princess is in another castle. Is it 
right here. Look, look at those skills. I mean, it's worth it. Especially if your hand hurts, dude. Like, I don't know a Tetris attack, like, all that well, but... If things start getting moving fast, if anything like Tetris, you need them hands. Ah! Minute 12? So really just that one stage, huh? this coin. Oh, we almost made it over. <laughs> Keystered the flagpole. That's a term I have not heard in a long time. Keystered. Yo, we were watching uh, the New Year's shit on like, I don't know, ABC or whatever. Uh, I learned a couple of things. One, I learned I'm super fucking old and I don't know who any of those people are. <laughs> like, they literally did like the stars of 2021 and shit, dude, and I didn't recognize a single fucking name. I'm pretty sure they were just making it up. <laughs> but more importantly... They did, like, a thing on, like, internet slang, and they had, like, a boomer, a Generation Z, and a millennial. And, uh, the millennials didn't know what TLDR meant. Jackson, are you here? Do you know what TLDR means? Okay, that's what I thought. Like, how do you guys- what? Yeah, too long didn't read. And it was like, the millennial was like some TikTok guy who was like super famous. And he was just like, I don't know what that means. Like, what? <laughs> I guess technically I am too. 81? So. You had to look it up though? Oh, a while ago. <laughs> I mean, on TikTok, nothing is too long you didn't read. <laughs> Nothing can be too long on Twitter either, so in some sense it makes sense, but... I'm happy to say I knew most of them. I didn't know what the hat meant. I still don't understand. So they did emojis, like if somebody types something and they do a skull, it means you're dead, like you're laughing. But there was a hat. And that meant you were cap, which meant somebody was lying. I don't under, I don't know what cap means. Not up on that slang. <laughs> Kappa? That means not joking. I'm. You could be right. I'm pretty sure they said if somebody said. Yeah, maybe that's what they meant. Like I'm not lying. I'm not joking. But I thought they were using it if somebody was telling a lie about them. But yeah, you might be right. Ugh. I was like, a hat? I'm like, I don't know, why the fuck would you post a hat emoji? <laughs> and I also, there was like the hand painting the fingernails, which I kinda didn't know, but I was able to guess. 
Like, I don't know, you're probably, like, sassy or something. They were like, yeah. Thank you, Mario, but our princess is in another castle. Is destroying kids' attention span? Possibly. So much information, so many videos in such a short time. I mean, not to sound like an old man, but... Social media definitely protects you from outside opinions you don't want to hear. And, uh, it's kind of important you hear other people's opinions in life. <laughs> I don't know, we should just give up. I mean, it's just not gonna be there. But I don't know, whatever. Every old man thinks that the kids are gonna be ruined. Every generation does just fine. Hoo hoo. Shitty bounce, but we survived. I'm just an old man yelling about the kids on my lawn and how things were better in my day. <laughs> but seriously, I didn't know any of the fucking movie stars. I didn't know any of the fucking musicians. Like, some young girl blew up, and not only did I not know who she was, but I also didn't even know what fucking movie she was in. Because <laughs> I guess it was on Netflix or something? I don't know. Like, damn. I didn't even know who the hosts were. The two guys hosting the New Year's Eve ball dropping event. I didn't recognize either one of them. You know? All you gotta do is get a million likes, dude. You just have to know one million people. It's not that hard. <laughs> it's just the population of a large sized city. <laughs> if you can get everybody in one decent sized city to like you, <laughs> how hard can that be? Can't even get everyone in a small room. I know. <laughs> I mean, you have to be attractive. Be able to dance or something. Stage eight, minute 49. Let me be fair, you don't like them either. I mean, some of them are annoying. <laughs> Especially if they're related to you. <laughs> ah! Blowing up Uranus is what I'm going for. to Mario. It's hard to get back. It's really weird though, like at what point do we suddenly get too old to know who any of these people are? Like when did it happen? Everything started to require an ad. <laughs> <laughs> it 
just stop paying attention. Oh, ADHD. <laughs> Even worse. Thank you, Mario, but our princess is in another castle. You're even too old to know who anyone is? <laughs> okay, all right, not here. We're gonna say, see, not there. That's where I checked. How about here? Here, here? No, oh, just one of those. All right, get me out of here. Let's just go. I was thinking, like, as soon as you had to get, you know, like, YouTube, you had to watch a bunch of advertisements. Like, yeah, I guess I don't watch, like... But, I mean, I feel like in my 30s, I know who musicians were. Ten stages, nice. Out of how many? So I'm like, I wonder if anybody's ever done a study on it. Like, how would you study that? You would have to ask people every year if they know. You'd have to take, like, age groups. <laughs> Where the hell is this thing? There it is. To see, on average, at what age you lose touch with up and coming. <laughs> I'm gonna guess, like, mid-30s, like, 35. But I mean, you know, there's a lot of other circumstances too, right? Like, in 10 years, I'll know who these people are again because I'll have a kid who's into these people. Trends of music is objectively bad. Yeah, like mumble rap probably isn't super popular with adults. I say adults, but I mean like, you know, late 20s, 30s, and up. I mean, there'll be new ones. I won't know who who JoJo is or whatever her name, <laughs> but there'll be some other star taking her place. And then I'll be cool again. I'll be watching New Year's Eve you know, 2032, and they'll be like, let's learn about all the new stars, and I'll know all the names. <laughs> wow, there's a couple of weird jumps, but we saved it. Jolene Cujo? <laughs> no fucking idea. Um, I don't even know how to describe her. White girl? Looks kind of young? <laughs> it really doesn't, uh, doesn't clear it up. Oh, it's JoJo's part six. Yeah, this is like, so I'm pretty sure her name is JoJo. Like, she has some TV show on Disney? Man, I don't know, maybe it's just a YouTube show. I don't want to be rude and call her chubby, because she's not chubby, but like, you know, she's not like a 90-pound 
white girl. But I mean, she's not like overweight or anything. <laughs> Your classic Disney star white girl is like 80 pounds. Say thick? I, I mean, she's like 16. I feel weird saying that. <laughs> but our princess is in another castle. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> She's, uh, she's at a healthy weight. I mean, she is, but like, you know, a lot of Disney stars are like 80 pounds soaking wet. She's not one of those. I think her name's Jojo. Again, I don't fucking know. <laughs> uh, she was on Dancing with the Stars, if that matters. I think she won. Uh, she's also a lesbian because she danced with a same-sex person. That was like the big story. She was the first winner to dance with a same-sex partner or something like, oh. Who the fuck is JoJo? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Looks like a chick who become the Joker. Maybe she did have a lot of rainbow colors, if that's what you mean. Which apparently makes a lot of sense now that I think about it, because she's gay. I just thought, you know, she was kids entertainment, so it was colorful, but now I'm thinking I'm a massive fucking idiot. <laughs> Ah! Get up there so we can snipe this guy. Oh my god, Mario. There you go. Hmm. Apparently she can dance. Like, really well. So, you know. I don't know if that's what made her famous to begin with, but... Oh god, just run! I can't dance at all, so if people can dance, I'm super impressed. Especially if they can actually dance, like Michael Jackson style shit. Eleven, yeah, eleven's not gonna be easy. <laughs> Who puts cocaine on their cornflakes in a movie? Because I would like to see that movie. Oh, Gotcha is the name of the movie. Wait, the, the movie that the fucking... Got like the 80s movie about paintball before it was paintball. <laughs> I've never seen that movie, but I do know the one you're talking about. All right, Jackson, good night, dude. Nah. For those that don't know, paintball existed in the 80s and the paint washed out of your clothes that was the whole thing is that as a little kid you could play paintball because when you got shot with the paint you just throw your clothes in the wash and it came right out but the guns were kind of realistic or something right and it became an issue of controversy that a bunch of kids were shooting each other with somewhat realistic guns which is a real shame because uh, it would have been a super cool toy <laughs> had it been more popular. I forget what the con. I feel like it had something to do with the fact. Maybe it was just the fact that it was a toy where you shot your friends with a gun, but.
Never, no, me neither. But it's weird to think that, like, they tried to have paintball in the 80s, and it just failed miserably, and then, what, late 90s, 2000-something, it would blow back up? But it came back as for adults. Thank you, Mario. Our princess is in another castle. Yeah, like, older kids, like... 17 or up or whatever play paintball right like 20s and 30s and shit Where the gotcha toys if I remember right were for like seven-year-olds Oh, I thought I was gonna miss that jump It's all the 80s kids that wanted those paintball guns when they were kids. Yeah, dude. <laughs> That's probably right. And they grew up and were like, dude, we gotta bring it back. I'm making a paintball gun. <sighs> Except now, the paint's not gonna wash out of your clothes and also it's gonna sting like a motherfucker when you get hit. <laughs> it don't hurt that bad. Back in my single days, I had a military guy live next to me at a bunch of paintball guns, and we would get drunk and take our shirts off and shoot each other. <laughs> you see how close range you could get shot with a paintball before you'd back out. Because, <laughs> you know, that's what kind of stupid shit you do when you're drunk and young. <laughs> Last time you went, it wasn't even paint. Wait, what is it? It was like cornstarch stuff. So when it dried, it dusted off. Well, that's actually kind of neat. Does it still hurt? A minute 59? Oh, dude, that was close. Still under two minutes, though. Ah! All bruised up. <laughs> I mean, you gotta have the pain, because that deters you from wanting to get shot. I've never played paintball, but I'm just saying, if it doesn't hurt and the paint comes out of your clothes, why not just go for a quote-unquote suicide run, you know? But if it stings when you get hit... <laughs> well, you might not want to go for a suicide run and get shot 15 times. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember it hurting too bad either. It just kind of like stung. Like maybe someone slapped you a little bit. <laughs> Why not do a suicide run? That's my new quote. <laughs> Great. <laughs> kind of worried about that one, but I had to make a jump at some point. God damn it, Mario, you piece of shit asshole. Fuck. <laughs> Man. Two lives down because Mario can't jump. <laughs> Okay. Ugh. <sighs> Don't stop, Mario. <laughs> I can't believe we died that fucking close to the end twice. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, happy New Year, Iceman. I think. Oh, wait, is it a hoodie around? It should be New Year's where he's at, too. Yeah, 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 we're playing the original Mario Bros. Oh, it's only 10 for you? Oh, that's right, because you're, like, up there. Ugh. Some original Mario Brothers. It's a good game. This game is fun as hell, but it's super weird, like... Mario has old-school physics controls. 
Like, we're just gonna get hit because I had no speed. <laughs> it's hard to get momentum sometimes. Thank you, Mario, but our princess is in another castle. Yeah, man, I hope you're enjoying your night, too. Oh, God. And I'm going to get hit. <laughs> God damn it. Oh. Okay. Whew. No, there's always one in there. No! Damn it. Yeah, yeah, there's no continues, and we're not taking any warps. We don't go down any pipes. And I, I get a lot of easy deaths that I shouldn't take because I keep trying to play it like Super Mario World. <laughs> nice. How long to take you? Oh god, we don't have any fire. Are we going to get fish blocked? Ah. We gotta go kinda quick now through this stage. Cause this part here, go, 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 beat him. <laughs> Okay, well, this is... There we go. <laughs> Whew. When in doubt, go quick through that stage. Minute 35, nice. Yeah, dude, this game's a ton of fun. Like, there are nights where I, I don't want to stop. Like, <laughs> oh, I gotta pay attention here. For sure, I was gonna mess that one up. If I can't beat it, oh, I'll beat every game. There's no not beating games anymore. <laughs> I haven't played this game, I mean, until it was chosen here. I don't know, 30 some years. Alright, down, middle, up. Right, and then up. Down in the middle, and then up. All right. Problem is, we don't have any power ups. Isn't there like a fucking potabo or something here? No, there is. It's all right. <laughs> Thank you, Mario, but our princess is in another castle. I mean, I only have three coins, so it's really not worth collecting coins anymore. I don't think there's going to be a hundred coins in this stage. <sighs> okay, that was a bad jump. I'm glad he, uh... I know there's one in there, but I'm not going for it. 
go down the hole. No. This the one. That jump there used to be so hard as a kid. Please just go, just go, just go, just uh, have some speed. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Whew. <laughs> Dude, it's Mario. Uh, Like, getting him to do the jumps you want him to do. Are you gonna shoot? Are you fake? I guess that's a fake up there. Uh, yeah, you too, man. That is the end of the stage. Oh. <laughs> oh, nice. We are gonna do it right now. I I said I would do them immediately so I don't forget. So let's roll. Take a break from playing games and chat. I don't know. You think I could actually do that? <laughs> I feel like it would be so unentertaining. Oh god, there are so many Hammer Brothers here, right? Is that this stage? Oh, oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, okay. Okay, oh, all right. Wonder if I can just like wait those guys out. Got plenty of time. I know, are people doing lots of like New Year's streams? <laughs> Anybody streaming from a party? <laughs> Who's gonna be banned tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> Which super famous one million 
streamer. <laughs> And boom! Super Mario Brothers! Uh classic! Thank you, Mario! Your quest is over! We present you a new quest! Push the B button to select a world. Woo! <laughs> Dude, I haven't beaten that game, if possibly ever, in like, I don't know, man. How old am I? 32 years, probably? <laughs> uh. Thank you, thank you everyone. 37? Yeah, see I'm 40, so... I figured... I was 8, maybe? <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Yay! There we go. And then it just restarts. Now we could do it on hard mode. 85? So... I probably didn't get it in 85, right? That's when it came out in Japan. So, uh, yeah, 8 might be good. Maybe 7. I want to say I beat it as a kid, but dude, I don't know, man. Because you could warp. I always used to just warp to the end. I don't think I've ever beaten it going through every stage. So if I beat it, I warped, and I beat it when I was like seven, eight. <laughs> That's probably the first time I've ever done every level. No pipes, you know? Played through every stage. Still a fantastic game. His physics are a little weird, but that's not the game's fault. That's like years and years of being trained in how Mario moves in other games. That's literally me. Like, muscle memory wants me to believe he'll run, jump right away when he won't. Still super fucking fun. I want to play it again right now. I'm not gonna. But I want to. <laughs> I mean, what can you say? 10 out of 10. After all these years, it's still, like, one of the best games ever. That's probably the most fun I've ever had. <laughs> Woo, what a great game. Was not doing the infinite lives part of the challenge. I, I, nobody requested it. And like, it's not really a glitch because it's in the game. I just, I don't know. I kind of take it game by game. You know, I kind of like make up the rules, but like, I just didn't want anyone to be like, you didn't really do it. You know, <laughs> you, you, you got a hundred lives that you weren't, it wasn't intentional for you to get a hundred lives there and you did it. Like, I don't know. I just don't want anybody questioning whether or not I legitimately beat Super Mario Brothers. No warps, no pipes. We didn't take the one, one pipe that skips the stage. You know what I mean? Like we did it, we did it in hard mode without doing hard mode. Kind of like Blaster Master, no pause glitch, you know? But in Ghostbusters, we totally use the overflow glitch because Ghostbusters is a piece of shit game. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Let's mark it off the list. We did tw oh no one one twenty twenty two. 